In this video, I'm going to cover installing the print driver that we downloaded for the Mac onto this computer. I get this disk image file to download. When I double click on that, it extracts out to this drive that's got the Fiery print driver in it. When I open this up, we'll see that there are two components, the Fiery driver and the Fiery software uninstaller. We'll cover the Fiery uninstaller at a different time. So if I double click on the Fiery printer driver, it's going to come up and say, OK, I'm going to install this driver. Let me agree to the software license. Make me agree a second time to the software license. And then I come down to the install button. Once I click the install button, then the installer will come up and say that I need to authenticate in order to be able to install this software. And the next thing that will come up is a driver installer window. You'll see here that the network discovery button is currently what is selected. In this case, it's probably not going to find a installed Fiery on the network because the printer is on a different subnet than what my computer is. So I've got the option here to put the name or IP address of the machine in, see if it can find it. I've also got an option down here to install the printer driver only. If I select this install printer driver only link, it will install the files onto the computer and I will have to go manually into the printers in uh, the system settings in order to install that printer. For today, I'm just going to say I want to do by name or IP address and enter in the IP address of the printer that I would like to install. And although this may take a little bit of time, it should reach that printer, and once it does, it will come back and populate the fields that are down below it. And you can see that it has come back and found the printer name. The default queue, I'm going to change the default queue so that it goes to the hold queue. It's going to change the printer name. In this case, I'm going to say that I would like this to be a different printer name, and I'm going to call this the KMC3080. And I can double check under installable options and verify what hardware is installed and what accessories are installed, what fire options are installed on that device, and it will set those up properly when it installs the driver. So from here, I'll hit the install button and we can see that it progresses across performing the install of this printer. And we have completed the install. And I can set it as the default printer if I'd like to do that. I can add another printer. So if I've got multiples of the, the machines on the network or I needed to set one up slightly differently, I could. In this case, I'm going to be happy with just the printer that I installed. So I'm going to click the Finish button. It will run a few more validations. This may take a little bit of time to complete, especially if you're on a different subnet than the machine is, as I am in this case. And then the installation has completed. I'll click the close button, and that has installed the print driver.